Hey everyone, Jeff here. Um, yesterday I went to the Princeton Record Exchange and you know I talked to a few of you guys on Facebook about it and it was a really good trip. I didn't bring a whole lot of money with me so that way I wouldn't spend a whole lot of money because that's the sort of place where they price everything to move. So you know you see something and you think to yourself, oh I'm never going to find it for a better price. So then you buy it and before you know it you spend a fortune. So I only spent uh, less than $50, I think, and I still found some tremendous things. So first of all, what you're going to be hearing in the background, uh, David Rose and his album Distance Between Dreams. Um, this is released on the Inner City label, and I'm giving it my first spin right now. Um, I'm a big fan of jazz violin players like John Blake, John luc Ponty. So, um, it'll be interesting to hear how this is. I think this is supposed to be a fusion record. So, very, very excited to, you know, finish this one out, see how it is. Um, I also finally got a copy of Ritir, or Ritter, however you say it, by Enslaved on vinyl. Uh, this is released on Nuclear Blast, and I've been enjoying this album since it came out over a year ago or maybe a little bit less than a year ago, but it came out in 2012, and uh, it's just such an amazing, amazing album. And now that I finally have it on vinyl, um, very cool, very, very cool. And it looks like that. So that just makes it even more awesome. And this was the most expensive thing I got. I think it, it was still under like $25, and it's a double LP, but uh, worth every cent. It's just absolutely awesome. Uh, this I paid two dollars for, uh, Wired by Jeff Beck. Um, I haven't listened to it yet though, but I'm excited to do that. I did get another dollar bin find, uh, the David Rose I only paid a dollar for, if I didn't say that already. Uh, Aerial Boundaries by Michael Hedges. Uh, this is on Wyndham Hill, and like I've said in other videos, I don't go out of my way too much to get Wyndham Hill, but if I see it cheap, I usually pick it up. Um, you know, they, their music is mellow, and I have to be in the mood for it, but there's a lot of good stuff on that label, so we'll see how this one turns out. Also picked up two John Coltrane albums that I've been really wanting to hear forever. Um, African Brass, John Coltrane Quartet. Uh, this is on Impulse, and this is a 1974 reissue. So it's not one of the most desirable pressings. You know, it doesn't have a gatefold, but it does come with all the original liner notes here. And um, it is on that nice Impulse label. Um, so, you know, would I like an original still? Yeah, probably, but um, this 1974 press sounds really great, and it's still in the shrink, and basically brand new. I only paid $8 for it, so very happy to get that, and it's a fantastic album. Um, haven't listened to this one yet, but African Brass Volume 2, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it is. Um, I'm kind of saving it a little bit. I'm going to keep enjoying the first volume, and then I'll check this one out. But, um, yeah, very, very cool to finally get both of those albums. And last but not least, John McLaughlin and the One Truth Band with the album Electric Dreams. Uh, this is a promo on Columbia. Um, I'm a big fan of John McLaughlin, but I've never heard this record, so I can't say if it's good or not, but... It is a white label promo. Um, I don't really collect promos, you know, I don't go out of my way to buy them, but if I see it and, you know, it's a record that I want, I'll definitely get it. So that concludes what I've got from Princeton, but I do have quite a few other records to show. Um, hmm. I'll just show these two since I have them right here. Uh, Alive by Chuck Mangione. Um, I picked this up for 20 cents or something like that at a, th a thrift store recently. It was only 20 cents, I think. And um, 
Ordinarily, I'm not a huge Chuck Mangione fan. A lot of his stuff is too smooth for me. But I remember actually digging this quite a lot. If you recognize that bass player, uh, Tony Levin, who's played you know, King Crimson, Liquid like Tension Experiment, Peter Gabriel, you know, he's got a lot of cred as far as I'm concerned. And this is a really good uh, live album. So very cool to get that for only 20 cents. And I also listened to this the other day. Uh, this was another 20 cent thrift store find. Uh, Tchaikovsky Pi Piano Concerto Number no. 1. Um, so, you know, it's got... I'm trying to think what label this is on. This is on the Columbia Odyssey label. And um, this is good. I, I really... I haven't completely gotten into Tchaikovsky yet. Like, the same way I've gotten into Stravinsky. I really dig his music. And, you know, I'm trying to get more and more into different types of classical music but this was an enjoyable spin for sure and um, you know I do have more Tchaikovsky in my collection so I think I'll have to take some some more out and listen to it so um, I think I'll stop it there for today I do have more records to show but I'll get to those in another video I uh, hope everyone is doing well and thank you for watching